Often imitated, never duplicated. Derek, your boy's back. The motherfucking voice is here. Okay, folks, I'm back. And today, the voice got a special guest. The voice got someone that wants to interview the voice. And she's out of the the New Orleans Aints fan base in Vid Makers. So I had to make sure it was okay with her mother, you know, and it was almost a parental guidance. I had, it had to get signed off on this motherfucking bullshit. That's all to the motherfucking good. So I'm going to introduce you guys, and y'all know she a bid maker. She, she do a thing. She's not a part of the TTC, but she do represent them New Orleans names. Her name is Lucas Blake. There right. Lucas Blake. Lucas Blake says she has a couple of questions for the voice. And, uh, and before you get started, Lucas, before you get started, now look now, your mama do know that this is a highly, highly parental guidance motherfucking video. Because I do a lot of cussing. A lot of motherfuckers. A lot of goddammits. And all that good shit. Yeah, right. Yeah. Mommy says it's fine. Okay. All right. Lucas, go ahead and get your swerve on. What you got to ask the boys? Hi, everybody. Yeah, this is Lucas Blake. Um, yes, I, I made a long trip up to North Carolina because, you know, I didn't want to go on video and I didn't want to show my face. That's why the voice, he has a picture of the Panthers in the background because I, I can't show my face, you know, because uh, there's a lot of people that's wondering about my age and everything about me, but I am 18. I just turned 18, and thanks for all the birthday wishes, but voice, you're so cool. You are so cool. I, th I thought Sports Live in ATL was cool, but you are the coolest. And thanks for having me. My mother, she's outside in the car and she's waiting on us to finish doing this video. And just thanks for having me. There's no problem. You know, because the boss, yeah, right. I aim to entertain. But what? Man, come on, get on with the shit. What, what, what the fuck you got to ask the boss? Okay, boys. Boys, you know, y'all are coming to the Mercedes Benz Superdome this Sunday, and and I just want to ask you a question on how are y'all going to stop Drew Brees? I love that guy, Marcus Colston, oh, Jimmy Graham. That's my boyfriend. Oh, don't tell nobody. <laughs> Thomas, Pierre Thomas. <laughs> How are you going to stop them guys, boys? Look the fuck here. You come out way to North Carolina to ask me how the fuck we going to stop them chump ass, weak ass, soft ass motherfuckers. The same way we did last time. We're going to put pressure on Breeze, like always. We going to make that ass goddamn check down because he is the check down king. Believe that. And then, oh, 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 because you asked about that chump ass Jimmy Graham. Let me, let me, let me break something down to you, to you and your ain't vid makers. Y'all wondering what the hell is going on with Jimmy Graham. I'm going to tell you what's, what didn't happen to Jimmy Graham. Week two is what happened to Jimmy Graham. Jimmy Graham came across the middle of week two. That's when we had them motherfucking chump ass, weak ass, them reps, them replacement reps. And he took a shot like no other. If you don't believe it, look it up. 
Dead motherfucking Charles Godfrey came through and hammered the hammer the dead ass across the middle. The bitch ain't been the same. He was a beast last year. The bitch ain't been the same. But he's scared. He got alligator arms. Do I need to explain? You motherfuckers live down in the fucking bayou. Near the bayou know where alligator arms are. But come on, let's keep moving on. Come on, come on. Cause I got I got I got the end. I can't be that damn can't hold you too long. Okay, boys. Yeah. That is kind of true, you know. And my uncle, he's a Carolina Panther fan, you know. He he lived in Charlotte for like five years, and quite understandable. And I respect him for that because he stuck with him. And you know, like, cause I stay down here in Dallas. And if you don't come on, what you gotta ask me? Cause you was just rambling on. Can you get to the point? <sighs> well. Real boys, I, I, because you're cool. You are so cool, you know. And how do you come up with the names for the beard makers when you be trash talking them? Because you know you haven't named me because I'm not in the TTC. Look the fuck here. I'm the voice. So you asking me what is the reasons why I name these chump ass motherfuckers? Yes. Oh, 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 okay. The reason why I named these chump ass motherfuckers is because in the beginning, because you know the voice is a rook. You act like you ain't know that, but it's all to the damn good. The voice is a rook. It was my way of remembering all these chump ass motherfuckers. I give them my name, like if you name your own children, because you know when you want to tap that ass and whoop that ass. And smack that ass around. Only thing you, you got damn it, you know the name. So that's why I divorce names. How I come up with the names, it, it's, it's apparent, baby. It's apparent. Just look at these chump ass motherfuckers. Look at all the goddamn names I didn't name them. When you go down through it, all the names have a meaning. It's not like I'm just reaching from the sky and I'm pulling names out. I am naming these weak ass bitches as they come. And I'm going to do a show at the end of the year to explain where every last motherfucking one of them names mean. But you need to come on because I can't make this video too long. What's the last question? You got one more one more question, then you got to get up out of here and head back to motherfucking Corpus Christi, motherfucking Louisiana. I heard you from Texas, wherever the fuck. You're going to head back down in there. I, I'm being nice. I, I'm not going to make you cry. Please, boys, don't make me cry. I... You know, you're cool. I, I just don't want to cry. I really don't. I told you I wasn't going to make you cry. Because I like you. They're yeah, right. I like you. But ask me the last question. You no, know, boys, I just turned 18. And could you give me a little tip? Like a little tip for a young, attractive, 18-year-old, soft-spoken girl. And Everybody, you know, I, you know, because I meet a lot of guys, and what's the tip that, you know, for 18 year Matter of fact, the boy's going to, I hang out that. The boy's going to give you two tips. The first tip is very important. But the second tip is the main tip of all tips. First tip is this. Get your education. Yeah, right. Get your education. But know what you want to do in life with the education so you ain't wasting your money or your parents' money. But the second tip is this. This tip is for all you motherfuckers out there, not just Miss Blake. This is the main tip. Always use condoms. Dead right. Always use condoms. <laughs> but okay, Lucas, I'm the voice. I got, I, got, I got to get on. But remember that last, always use condoms and get your education. But I'm the boys. This is Lucas. Miss Blake. They came all the way to North Carolina to interview the motherfucking boys. That's all to the good. Hey, you know what? Hey, good shit. Tell your mama I say hello, because me and her the same age. Tell her I say hello. Wait. Let me, let me, I'm about to get to the, I'm about to send you, I'm about to walk you to the door. Come on out and get you up out of here. And everybody else.
know, we have a good interview, eh? Thanks, boys. Uh, look, look here. Hey, you know, the weather got a bad day. Y'all be easy. Right. Oh, okay. Did y'all love something? I just had to, you know, show my little Southern hospitality for Miss Blake. You chump ass motherfuckers, I ain't went nowhere. And let me get, let me, let me shut one. You know what? Let, let me do one thing. Because, uh, you know, the boy, I've been working hard. That's why I ain't been able to put out these videos like I want. But tomorrow, I'm going to have to put out another one because I seen Little Big Brother video. Damn good video, homie. Much props. But I got I to gotta address B. Slaw. B. Slaw. Let's look the fuck in here, man. You're tooting your own horn too much, homeboy. You're tooting it too goddamn hard there, pimping. Now, goddamn, cuz. I'm the motherfucking voice, man. I'm telling you. You're tooting it too fucking hard. You, I've been seeing them trolls, and you up here in the trolling, you typing that goddamn the voice. Know a trash talker when he see a trash talker. Yeah, I, oh, I know trash talk. Now, believe that. You still getting your motherfucking feet wet. But, I'm about to shut your motherfucking ass down right quick. Because you are offshore worker. They're right. Good job, homie. Believe that. The voice know. Good damn money in that motherfucking shit. Pay the goddamn way. Let me tell you something, you chump ass motherfucker. The reason why these motherfuckers giving you so much hell because goddamn it, it is out there. Nigga, get the fuck off these nuts, man. God damn. Hell, I had enough of them motherfuckers. I thought I got all them motherfuckers off these nuts. Week six, week seven. Hell, you a late bloomer. You jumping on these motherfuckers. Hell, they tied. These motherfuckers tied. God damn. And you, and you, oh, and you know what? For your ass, the image that's stuck in my head, and why I keep coming with that motherfucking be telling man, nigga, don't be laying in no motherfucking bed. You took that motherfucking video down, homeboy. Believe that you had a motherfucking video, your first video you put out, and you called me out. You you talked about Miss Jasmine. Tell me, I want to get with that all this and that motherfucker. Get the fuck. Nigga looking like looking crazy hell like that. You get your fucking chest hair showing. The nappy ass. It look like a bunch of goddamn ants on a fucking lollipop in the summertime on the sidewalk, nigga. On your chest. I'm like, God damn. And then you hollering my motherfucking name. Damn, you went from Miss Jasmine to the motherfucking voice. You chump ass motherfucker. But you did right. You took that motherfucker down. Believe that. Tell you something, cuz. I got bigger fish to fry. I like your style. Motherfucker, you pumping videos out left and motherfucking right. Because there ain't much to do on that motherfucker when that tug pushing. Believe that. But I tell you the fuck what. Sit your chump ass down. Enjoy the show. I got Saints Uptown. I got to get a hold of. I got motherfucking GL. Because this video's coming. And he gonna be talking big shit. I'm already goddamn waiting on that. I already fucking know. Sit back, pick your fucking battles. Oh, I'm the motherfucker that said, pick your goddamn battles. Because I'm the motherfucking boss. But okay, folks, I hope y'all enjoy. I will be putting a video out tomorrow. And goddamn it, we gon' kick that ass. And before I go, don't hate me, you chump ass motherfuckers, because I'm just a motherfucking messenger. And I show you motherfuckers how super gangster and thorough I am. Man, the motherfucking voice is out. Nigga, know who you fucking with. They told you, be slow. Your ass on, your ass ain't even on dick no more. You just got crushed. Fucking god dick. My nuts can't hold no more, Pimpin'. They can't hold no more. That's why I say, often imitated. It never duplicated. I say everything for a reason. The voice is out. I see you clowns tomorrow.